thank you guys as the media for being here. I really thought our crowd was a big piece of our energy. When you play the schedule that the Pac-12 plays, that you play pretty much like the NCAA tournament where you play Friday, Sunday with only one day in between and you press and do all as much we do, we really feed off the energy in the building. And uh, thank you guys for being here to celebrate the journey of both uh, teams and just means a lot. Uh, you know, I, our theme this year has been grit. Um, I thought it was going to take a huge effort today um, to keep the pace up, that we were going to have to press again for 40 minutes. We were going to have to be the aggressor again. And I knew how much energy Friday took out of us. So if I'm being totally honest, I was a little nervous going into this game because we, put, we have a lot of high minute getters. We're really playing a seven player rotation. And I didn't know, I, I was hoping, I knew they were fit enough to do it, but were we gonna have the mental toughness enough to wear them down with our pressure once again? I think that's what I'm most proud of is that we did. We had the fortitude, we had the selflessness, we had our role players and people coming off the bench give us a spark again. And Kelly Hayes, I thought, was a tremendous uh, page turner in this game, really uh, was sparked us. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm really proud of the mental toughness, I'm proud of the togetherness and the selflessness, and uh, obviously these two are pretty spectacular as well. Mm. I'm a lucky coach. Uh, I think the reality is that um, <clears throat> I, I don't, you know, I'm really fortunate because they came very talented young women. But we can lead them to water, but we can't make them drink. It's their work ethic. It's their choices. It's this week, even when we had two baskets, um, Jordan is in right next door here on the dribbling machine, um, getting extra work in before practice even starts. Um, you know, Monique Billings is like, hey, coach, you know, right before the last game, I need to get, you know, I don't know how many makes go-tos you made on each side beforehand, but it's the extra work. And I, they're very um, talented young women, there's no doubt about that. But to me, they're choices their hard work, their dedication, their willingness to go do, we call them the uncommon choices and being willing to go beyond. And they laugh at me because they, they think I overuse those words a little bit, but that's the separating factor. That's what makes them great. So I'm very proud of them. Um, not only because of their performance and their productivity, but because of their character and their choices. They're really good. They're hard, and they play really hard, and they're so young. I mean, what, how they've progressed throughout the year. I mean, remember, their, their losses early in the Pac-12 season, they didn't have Sabrina Ionescu, you know, who's really uh, a spectacular player. And, and you, you know when we put Jordan on her right off the bat, you know that we, they have our respect. And um, she's, you know, they're a really good team. So I think it was the difference. I didn't like our rebounding the first half. I got on them pretty good, especially on the offensive end. They were giving us a lot of open jumpers. We weren't being successful, but we also weren't pursuing the ball to get extra opportunities. So it really challenged our team. But the thing that kept us with the lead was even though we weren't winning the possession battles on the rebounds, we were winning it in the turnover margin. And whenever we can turn someone over and live ball turnover situation is going to be very hard to stop us in transition and so we were able to get some run outs some easy buckets and get points off our defense and I think that was the turning point and we just needed to keep that up but I I told the team in the locker room I knew we were going to win the game the first two offensive possessions I think we got five offensive rebounds in those first two possessions and that's what I had challenged them with at halftime and uh, they really responded. Well, thank you very much. And mentally prepared, um, uh, I didn't want to feel like I felt last weekend. That hurt. So um, that was my focus, just to keep the game simple and do what I know how to do. Trust um, that Jordan's going to get me the ball as, as well as the other guards and just produce for the team. <laughs> um, I've gotten a couple in practice, and me and Jordan have been working on it, our chemistry with the passing and stuff, and just getting my, um, how do you, uh, just getting the right form and having the right timing, I would say. So I'm going to throw one down one of these days. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> mm, okay. <I'm> yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that was one of the uh, keys to the game that Coach and Coach Tony emphasized is that we had to create ball pressure and just pressure them and turn them over. Um, actually, yeah, that was two. Yeah, key to the game was mm -hmm. turning them over twenty times, which is what we did, and just giving them ball pressure. And uh, I, I just wanted to set the tone on defense. I knew Sabrina was getting hot, so Coach Corey put me on Sabrina. So I just tried to um, make sure that she knew my presence uh, on defense. And uh, my teammates had my back when Carrie had that deflection. Um, so without her, that wouldn't have been possible. But I just tried to set the tone. Well, uh, let me first give credit to uh, Hebbard. She's a really good player. I, I just thought that that was a clear foul um, coming across. And, you know, Carrie Corver throws her body around and sacrifices so much, and she's been through so much. And I see her holding that knee scared the living daylights out of me, actually. Uh, I, you know, I thought the refing crew, you know, did a good job. I, I never thought it got out of control. Um, it was a very physical game. You know, that's the reality of it. Um, that's why I got chippy. I had to have the back of my team. I thought it wasn't intentional. She was just making a hard play. But the reality was that she went right through the knees, I thought, of Carrie. So I wanted to have the back of my player. No disrespect. Uh, she was, you know, playing a really good hard game. I know these referees are doing the best they can. Um, but I got to have the back of my players. Well, I just, it, it's, I would like to not, um, but the reality is that's what she means to our team. So if she ever gets in foul trouble again, she'll really be in my bad graces. I'm teasing her. But, um, you know, she, we go. She, she has the ball in her hands first on offense. She, she gets us into the right kind of rhythm on offense. Every defense is scouted around trying to keep her from going north and south. Uh, and, and our defense starts with her, too. She just, it's a compliment to her. She means that much to our team. And so, um, did I wish it wasn't that way? Um, yeah, uh, I wish we were not, not having to pay, play her that many minutes. But, um, you know, she's earned that right. She means that much to our team. And she's trained, uh, fitness-wise, to be able to handle it. So we're going to have to be wise and make good decisions here throughout the Pac-12 season. We're going to give them an extra day off this week and just try to get them to be able to take care of their bodies. But, um, you know, she's trained for this. We've talked about it in length about how we're going to manage it and what choices she's going to have to make. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm just doing what my team needs me to do, um, whether that's playing 40 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever it may be. But um, I'm not really focused on how many minutes I play exactly. I'm just doing what I need to do for my team.